my god, this thing is ruthless. It also is ruthless with its gas consumption. Oh my god, I'm popping a wheelie! What just happened? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Survival Today. We return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys. I see your favorite guys think day of the most amazing variety. Today, we got some awesome stuff in store. As you guys saw, we're going to be calling the Raiders right on back. Today, we are going to be doing the raid that brings us back up to four scrolls of raiding, aka the ideal situation to be in to go ahead and get those free raids. But on top of it all, we're making a bit of a pit stop over at the gas station. And as you guys can see, now that our off-road bike is maxed out we can no longer get blueprints for this which means that the only types of blueprints we can get are going to be military motorcycle blueprints which we need two more of and police bike blueprints which we need three more of so what does that mean that means that uh well we should be walking out of here today unless we have the worst luck in the world with an upgraded police bike which sounds absolutely dope or with our first taste at the military motorcycle and on top of it all we do have some red tickets we're gonna be making a pit stop off at the bunker as well so that should be i think the red ticket i don't know if it guarantees us a military motorcycle blueprint but i think we have a good chance of getting one which would bring us up to nine out of ten and odds are we'll be getting one from the gas station so all in all today is looking like it's going to be a very productive day in terms of upgrading our garage going on a dope raid hopefully that red ticket crate will bring us back up to three c4 on top of it all and as you guys can see i did go ahead and bring a couple of the generators over here we do also have a couple of weapons with us as well and this is the stuff they're going to be trading now that we don't really have to like max out the off-road bike and we're getting a lot of other things as well we just don't need to trade as much which is good because we were trading a lot of valuable stuff and for now you might be like star you mad man these are valuable too yes but we've been stockpiling these like crazy we still have like five gas tanks back at the base guys i'm not gonna lie i hope you guys can get some your hands on some of these gas tanks too best of luck to you guys with that but we have a little bit of a supply of them so we're going to be using them to go ahead and redeem and engine parts. We got a huge amount from all the raids that we're constantly doing. Same with the steel plates. So I'm more than ready to blow through those a little bit. If it means it helps us out in the category of getting our choppers nice and upgraded. And I don't mind blowing through some valuable things because what that means is that it's for you guys. And if I'm doing something that might not necessarily be the smartest or the best, but it does lead to a fan for fantastic time. Hopefully some awesome showcases showing off certain things and like i'm saying some laughs and giggles as well i'm more than happy with that result but for now we must continue taking out the fast biters oh another one all right another dead one that is we got another toxic abomination to deal with and then we just got to go ahead and start hauling these generators over here let's go and pop that puppy open is that new i don't think that gear used to be there in which case interesting to say the least, but hello, Jane, how do you do? I got some stuff for you, you pro to chop a gas tanks. I hope you're building up like an armada of choppers or something at this rate, and uh, also some engine parts and other things to help us get 3,000 points of that, and that's gonna be, what, I think that brings us up to like nine or something, 10 mechanics boxes, and each generator that we have should be giving us right around one mechanics box on top of that, so we should have 13 to open up, which is gonna Gonna be a very good number and like i was saying i hope you guys have seen a fan for fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets better from here on out whether that be getting a giggle from my video or anything else that's going on in your life i don't care what it is that brings you some happiness i just hope that it does happen in some way shape form or capacity and i'd love to hear from y'all regarding what is going on in your guys's lives what is some fun stuff that y'all have been up to maybe any cool plans you guys got coming up we're almost at the weekend keep chugging Hugging along lads and lassies with school with work it's almost friday the best weekday because right after is saturday baby and everyone at least i don't know man if you don't love saturday you might be a communist you know you might be communist propaganda something like that i don't know whatever it is i'd love to hear from y'all regarding that or even if you guys want to talk a little bit about last day on earth i'd love to hear from you guys regarding the military motorcycle since hopefully that is what we will be unlocking today and or that police bike upgrade and as that happens and as we showed off a little bit i'd love to hear from y'all yo guys's thoughts on that moving forward 
as we do shell that off not to mention how has the loot been treating y'all in the last day if you guys managed to get anything good as of late maybe some good stuff from the red ticket crates some c4 maybe some chopper gas tanks since now we can get them out of yellow ticket crates as well anything like that maybe how your raid luck's been going all that type of jazz any and all of that i'd love to hear from y'all about and reminder that, that comments put you one third of the way it's a free five dollar i do such place to a gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will let you know on today's video y'all can go and enter not every single last day on our video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's will you win up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell it's a stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information update gameplay as soon as those updates come out not to mention breaking down the info that's coming out about those future updates and that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway and of course all the other dope survival games we're checking out on the channel as well and speaking of other videos on the channel as you guys know we passed the 600k recently i've talked about it a little bit in videos i still haven't had the 600k celebration video though i am whipping one of those up guys and gals that's actually another thing i'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section should you wish to drop something down below is any questions you guys might have for me because i think for part of the video for part of the celebration i do want to actually incorporate some like uh what should i call some question and answer so if there's anything that you guys might want to ask me any and all that type of jazz that's another thing i'd love to hear from y'all any questions you might have that you might want to have answered with whether that be about youtube about irl me about school like whatever whenever all ever that it might be i'd love to hear from y'all about because I don't want to talk about specifically what's happening, but let's go. That's one police motorcycle blueprint. That's one military motorcycle blueprint. Oh, baby. Oh, that brings us up to two, three police bike blueprints, which means that there is an upgrade and we have unlocked the military motorcycle. So without further ado, why don't we head on back home so we could properly celebrate and check out some of these thingy-mabobs. But yeah, like I'm saying, if you guys have any questions for that, let me know. And on Monday, there's going to be a very special video going up with huge announcements in addition to the 600k stuff there's gonna be some very big announcements going on since well i, I don't want to spoil anything too hard but it's something that i've been working on super hard i've been working with i i mm. I don't want to reveal too much. I want to keep it like, I really want to keep it a secret. I don't think you guys are going to be expecting it. I've been getting some questions kind of regarding this for a while. And you guys are about to see something that adds, dude, ah, ah, I don't even know how to describe this, but keep your eyes and ears peeled. Something amazing is going to be returning on Monday that I've seen some questions about. I've been working with some people and trying to make it absolutely as amazing as possible. And I, this might spoil kind of what it is, but they turned out amazing i cannot wait to show you guys what they is in this situation so uh keep your eyes and ears peeled on that monday for a very special video but with that said and with that done we have a military motorcycle to go ahead and unlock and call ours and you guys can see with the next level which is going to be requiring 20 blueprints so i don't know how that's gonna go probably gonna take a little bit of a while but as you guys can see, there we have our first look at the military motorcycle and whole oh, Nelly. Is she looking beautiful? Well, the question is just how good is this military motorcycle? Well, it appears that, I, at least compared to our max level off-road bike, it does have a bigger gas tank. So that's kind of interesting to note. Um, but everything else, like it is the worst fuel saver in the world. Its capacity is doggy doo-doo compared to the competition. And its durability is right around the same. So it's looking kind of decent, but I'm interested to see what that tank volume means. Because apparently you guys are actually saying that fuel savings, what that applies to is that doesn't actually mean how much fuel we save when we drive across the map. Fuel saving is how much fuel we save when we're driving on a map. So I wonder if tank volume would maybe increase like the total amount that like would help with like our driving on the like overworld map, like in between places. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get this other bad boy unlocked over here in the form of a police bicycle of the upgraded variety. Let's just go and get ourselves a couple of those levels. Bum ba da ba ba ba. 
And our next level that we get with the police bike will increase fuel saving even more and durability will go up a tad bit. But it does not appear that the police bike will be getting upgraded capacity unless we could upgrade it past level three. Because for now, we know that the off-road bike's max level is three. The default chopper's max level is one. I'm assuming that these are also going to have a max level of three, but we will definitely need to go ahead, wait that out a little bit and see. But for now, before we head on out and we are going to be trying out that military motorcycle, like I was saying, I just want to go out to grab a couple of things right here, including the C4 and just kind of transfer those over because it's time for us to get a little bit of reps with our brand new military motorcycle and all of its beauty. And oh, she's looking like a beauty one, laddies. Let's go and just try to get a couple of things up in there. And then the rest of these things, let's go and apply that a little bit. But then the rest of these things we are going to be using. I'm going to put that away. And we have a bunker to go out and visit. So I'm going to go prepare for that and talk to y'all. And it's And all right, lads, let's take out the military motorcycle for the very first time in last day on Earth history here on the marvelous Star Snipe Daily Videos channel. And oh, baby, look at this thing. It just looks like a thick boy. And that's with a lot of C's. Just look at the wheels alone. Those things look massive. But you guys can see, keep an eye on the upper left hand corner, just how fast we blow through gas. Literally, from all of that driving around that we just did, we went from 100% gas to 90% gas. This is not going to be a good one to uh, drive around by the looks of it, at least like on top of maps. That roll is going to be going to the police bike because once upgraded, I think that has pretty much the best savings that you could possibly get. But for now, we don't got to focus on savings. We got to focus about driving and kind of keeping things in theme. We're driving our military motorcycle over here to the military bunker. We should get like a cookie or something for doing this. Are you kidding me? We're staying all in theme. This is like showing up to a Halloween party with like a pumpkin on your head, you know, like I'm really dedicated to it. Or, I don't know, like, maybe there's other metaphors to make. You, you know what I mean. I'm dedicated, dang it. And today's bucket code, by the way, in case you guys are in need of it, 12848 is going to be the marvelous combination of digits to go ahead and get you into this, at least at the time of me checking it. If that's out of date, by the time you're trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the fan and asset community here at the Snipe Gang and all of their marvelousness. And if you don't see it down there, hey, you could be the fan for a fantastic Snipe Gang ganga that uh well goes ahead and does that to be a marvelous help to many who might be in need because we all about fan freaking fantasticness here and just trying to help each other out as much as we can spread that positivity and i know that well we're very awesome at it so without further ado can't wait to see that comment section down below but another thing i can't wait to see is this finger opening this up and getting ourselves some free stuff over here from the bunker no way me 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 hey always with some pretty decent stuff pretty hard to complain i'll leave some stuff behind though because we got a whole ton of stuff to be opening we got a green ticket crate coming up first let's not forget the yellow ticket crate following shortly after a whole ton of death that we got to distribute as well and finally the red ticket crate that will be giving us potentially the best of them all Ooh, but the green ticket crate is starting out very nicely giving us some very nifty stuff in the form of an m16 and oh m16 and some shotgun ray to come our way on top of an engine part oh baby we are off to a pretty nifty start here's the thing too i'm gonna leave this set of armor off uh because i'm saving that for today's raid because i do like to raid with swat armor since it just kind of tends to be the best and let's freaking go dudes a chopper gas tank two engine parts and a military motorcycle blueprint i'm a little bit bummed on the lack of a c4 game i'm not gonna lie on that part but i can't be too picky and too choosy because hot diggity dog this is oh man this is that's a pretty good start right here 
goes without saying. So I'm going to leave these behind. We'll pick those up on the way back for now. I think we got plenty of weapons to get us to uh, where we want to go. And that is uh, to the blind one, actually, to his little play. I do. I clicked on the three game. Why you do this to me? Why you do this? This always happens. At least in my case, if I click like too close to the edge of three, like I clicked like right here and I picked four for some reason. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There we go. Like you really cannot be near the edge. Maybe that's just like an emulator thing. That's probably what it is. But still, man, hot freaking dog. Can't believe that that's been happening to us. Uh, ooh, you know what else we gotta do? Be ready to spread out a little bit of that pain. No pain, no gain, baby. And I got plenty of pain to be dishing. Now we're gonna start with the AK first and foremost to go ahead and bring some pain to the first schmucks who dare oppose us, which is always these dudes over in this room right over here. Hello, fast biter number one. Goodbye, fast biter number one. Hello, fast biter number two. Goodbye, fast biter number two. And hello, Mr. Fluta to the Blota. I'll be taking you down here. Just go ahead and play a little bit, little bit of Ring Around the Rosie with me. Listen, I want to get some games in. I want to have a little bit of fun. I don't want to be killing you too fast over here. Where's the fun in that? And after all, I don't want you to get any hits off on me because uh, no, 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 no. I'm the one who gets hits off on you. And ooh, we're doing like a full. Oh, I was about to say we're doing full 20 damage to the Exploder. Then I'm like, wait a minute. This is hard mode. What's going on? Turns out that we are just getting really lucky with criticals, which means, hey, today might be a lucky type of day. Actually, we already got a freaking gas tank, dude. Today's definitely going pretty lucky. I think that goes without saying. And hopefully my luck can be shared to you guys and you guys can have some fan freaking fantastic stuff happening to you, whether that be within the game of Last Down Earth, within the not game of IRL, whatever it might be. Hopefully there's some luck following you around and giving you some fan freaking fantasticness in some form, way, shape fashion through the marvelous day of today the rest of this week the rest of this month the rest of the freaking decade century millennium eternity whatever it might be i just hope that nothing but awesome sawsomeness follows you around and in the meantime this turrets i hope nothing but m16 bullets follow you around specifically i hope they follow into you you know because then you die and i get good stuff from your death Crossing my fingers that maybe if we're lucky, we got some turret parts as well. Always good to stockpile those. Show me what you got in here, Mr. Chest. And we got a little bit of gun oil. Can't go wrong with that. Thank you kindly, sir. Now then, we got to try and blow through some more stuff. So without further ado, I'm ready to blow, baby. Let's just go and get a couple of jakeys up in my belly and get a whole ton of bullets into the bellies of the spitters. Ooh, he thought he was going to get hit off on me. I said, no, 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 not today. You do not get hit off on me, senor. These guys might, though, because there is just like a lot of them. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on. If we cut some corners, though, we can bamboozle them and they don't know what to do for a split second you guys know what i'm talking about right like if you cut like and hug a corner really close like those toxic spitters just be like oh what happened i gotta rethink all of life i i can't continue chasing him he he turned around that corner so sharply i've never seen anything like it in my life like it's really just mind-blowing to these guys and you can take advantage of that and i always make sure to do exactly that just like i always make sure to bring some pain death and destruction to this little lad right over here hello buddy how do you do blind one i hope you're having good day yes oh yeah baby he's having a good one by the looks of it okay he's gonna a couple more hits off on us we gotta heal with that one he's gonna charge in this wall and i'm gonna charge some shotgun rain straight into his brain and oh, it appears that the shotgun rain is going well. We got a good amount of critical hits to begin with. He's going to get a couple more hits off on me here. I'm going to make sure to heal right there. He's going to run into that wall really quick. I'm just going to go and actually eat one of those. And then, okay, we might only be able to get off five shots this time. I don't think we'll be able to get off a sixth. Oy vey, we did not. And that sixth would have been a critical two, which is a little bit of a bummer. But it's all good because at the end of the day, the blind one, listen. You are consistently not a bummer, my friend. You are always a good lad to hang out with. I can spread a little bit of shotgun rain. Some stray dry, the blind one feels the pain. Shotgun rain. Another one will go and feel the pain. And also eat up some snacks of deceased bodies, which I do not approve of, by the way, blind one. That's really mean. Those people used to be alive at some point. 
I'm guessing some of them were alive when they decided to wander into this room. And well, uh, you made sure to go ahead and put an end to that. But it's always a fun time with the blind one, you know? Like, sure, he's aggressive, he tries to hit us, but I understand that he's good at heart. And why do I say that? Well, because I have seen his heart before. I mean, after all, like, we gotta dig into his body to get those freaking uh, whatchamacalls. Shotgun rain? Oh, nope, shotgun rain. There we go. Take him out. We got a dude! And we got another blind one head! What? Dude, I've been killing the blind one forever! We haven't gotten this in, like, a year! I'm not complaining though. I will happily take that to the bank. Thank you, Blind One, for such a marvelous prize. That is an awesome trophy because we already have his head on a wall. But listen here, getting his head in addition and being able to toss it in our trophy chests, I could uh, definitely get behind that a little bit. So thank you, Mr. Blind One for the assistance right there, buddy boy. And that's what I'm talking about. He probably heard me talking about him so nicely. He's like, dude, Papa Star, he's just such a good dude. Such a nice lad. And I'm like, I know, what can I say? I try to be cool guy. Jess, Jess, okay. Well, let's go and be cool in the lobby, turn in these hard mode items and then start plotting for today's raid and seeing who the unlucky animal that we're gonna raid is gonna be. Cause he's not gonna be too happy. Cause we're walking out of we're walking out of there with some good stuff. And it appears that our luck's pretty good. So we might just stumble across a pretty good looking base, you know? Let's just go ahead and turn in all those hard mode items, make our progress towards our next floppy disk. And let's go ahead and grab a couple of things from these crates as well before we decide to go ahead and skedaddle our way back on home. And I definitely know some of the things I'm planning on picking up without a doubt. It's gonna go to those. Uh, we also gotta make sure to free up a little bit of inventory room. Ah, uh, I, I will come back for you, Mr. Medkit. Don't worry, buddy boy. Uh, I'm gonna put these AK over there in the backup slot. And then we'll pick up a couple of those. I'll eat the rest of my jerky. I'm a hungry lad after all. Pick up the last of the AKs and then just start hitting take all on this stuff. I will return for the last rest of this, guys. You know me. I do not like leaving stuff like this behind, but we can only fit so much stuff in our inventory at a time so we just kind of prioritize but there's nothing stopping us from walking back here and then walking back to base but when we're in the midst of an action-packed fan freaking fantastic episode we ain't trying to walk lads and lassies we trying to keep it 100 as the uh youngins say nowadays i believe is something like that so let's go and do that at some unlucky little lads base I think that's the game plan for the rest of today. But like I was saying, the blind one, he's just such a good lad. And how do I know that he has a good heart? Well, guys, we're actually going to make a pit stop over here at the green bush. Because I do want to show you guys the motorcycle actually driving around a map. Taking down some zombies and showcasing it a little bit more. But listen, we had to rip his head off. We got to dig into there. We got to rip those big bones out that he drops sometimes. I know him inside and out, you know. And he's a pretty, he's a, he's a cool guy. Why do I say that? Well, he also drops really good loot. Ow! That was not good. Oh, baby. We got a whole ton of enemies coming our way. Dude, I'm not going to lie. The steering on this thing. Oh, infected deer. Yeah, the steering on this thing. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, whoop. I didn't do any damage to those guys. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, big hit on him. 77 damage. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, the military motorcycle definitely does some decent damage on the maps. I need to give it that. Oh. 85! Oh my god, this thing is ruthless. It also is ruthless with its gas consumption. Oh my god, I'm popping a wheelie! What just happened? Did anyone just see that? What? <laughs> Dude, we just popped a wheelie with our military motorcycle. <laughs> that was amazing! All right, dude, we might need to use the military motorcycle more because apparently it has the capacity of popping freaking wheelies. I've never done, I think we just hit something at a weird angle. But for the three seconds that that lasted, that was amazing. It'd be hilarious if like this thing was glitched and just like permanently like stuck in a wheelie or something. That'd be super funny. But uh, ooh, hello. And Merry Christmas. We got another Yule Log and a couple of other miscellaneous things that I'm going to go ahead and put away in addition to the rest of our inventory as we prepare for that raid that I was letting you guys know about. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get ready for that. Talk to y'all.
in a sec. And without further ado, lads and lassies, we have all the necessary tools to engage in today's raid. Let's just go and finalize the details with Mr. Raider over here, and let's go and set off. And we are not going to be taking our military motorcycle, unfortunately, because, well, the off-road bike gives us four entire more slots, making it by far and away the best option for raids, because when we raid, we steal things via loot. And, well, when it comes to loot, we want to take home as much as we can. So those four extra slots that we get is going to be huge. And who is today's unlucky schmuck? Kitty! They killed Kitty! Well, I don't know if they killed him yet, but they definitely made a base out of him. And I'm definitely going to kill Kenny's base. So while this might not be South Park, Kenny himself might be safe. Kenny, your base is, uh, is about to get killed. Brother, I'm, I'm sorry to say, my brother, you do not know the way. He doesn't know the way. Unless he has a massive... Never mind. He may or may not know the way here. Ho, ho, ho. Interesting. It appears that Kenny... Okay, never mind. Not as massive as I thought it'd be, but still. Not a total pushover of a base either. Kenny. Oh, oy vey, oy vey. No, never mind. There's just workbenches on the other side of those walls because we were able to chop at them, but that wouldn't have done anything. So he does have a base, but the question is... Where do we want to break into his base? That's most likely his, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the raider bait chest to try and, like, bait raiders in so he can get revenge raids. So Kenny's a smart cookie. So I'm thinking the game plan is we go knock, knock, party o'clock over at his very own doorway over here because by the looks of it, oh, he's got a little bit of a turret on the other side of here. So, hello, good morning, my friend. This is also going to end up being the main room that we end up breaking into simply because, uh, well, there's, there's a lot of chests over here for us to break into, and this is where his best stuff is, and I don't really think that it's going to be worth us to invest another C4, which is pretty valuable, into trying to get some mediocre loot throughout. You guys can see that he also has steel in certain parts of his base, which is most likely to be housing his best stuff. Now, we can't be sure because there's no way to break into there and to check, but uh, without further ado, Let's start bringing a little bit of death to this turret over here and clearing the way for ourselves and shotgun rain to you, Mr. Turret and oof uh, We're going a little bit hard mode today because in my rush of excitement to get back to this raid Since this is gonna be the raid that brings us back up to four skulls aka free raids pretty consistently uh, We also happen to kind of forget something valuable which is well, silencing our shotgun and making sure that it does a lot more damage than it's doing right now. So, oy vey, to say the least. Let's try to get a little bit of separation here. I wish I could switch between, like, the shotgun and doing normal things. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap that. I'm going to punch these guys a couple. There we go. Got a couple hits on that guy. I just want the weak guys to come at me so I can punch them to death a little bit. And we're going to be doing this raid in a little bit of interesting fashion. But we should be able to. Oh, I didn't even finish this doghouse. God dang it, Kenny. How could you do this? How could you do this lady? I don't even know. But I might see if maybe I have like a silenced weapon chilling somewhere because I don't want to be using this too much because this is a lot of shotgun rain to be utilizing. Shotgun rain to you. Like it doesn't bring up the noise by too much, which is the good news, but it's still bringing up it's still bringing it up a little bit. And like I'm saying, like you guys can see, like it's maybe making it's maybe made like two noise tops so far, but still. It's probably better for us. Like, it barely moves the needle at all. Maybe it just moved it up to three. Oh, my God. That dude just got exploded into a bajillion pieces. But still, not ideal. It's a little bit of a fluster on our part there. But with the help of this katana over here, we should be in a little bit better shape. And maybe for the big dudes, we could whip out the shotgun and do a little bit of rain. But let's go and do a little bit of looting up into his boxes. Because some of these boxes should have some very nice things within them. And what you know, what you know, nice things there are. And I might be taking some of those connecting rods home. And check it out. As you guys know, the new paint system with the garage actually lets you all that you have to do is actually use a paint and then you will learn it forever so you don't like need a copy of the paint to paint your motorcycle you just need one you got to use it kind of like how you'd use a blueprint and then uh well you're good to go from there also i don't think kenny has touched his base in a while because 
well, his, his things aren't stacking to 50 like they normally should, so I don't think that he's really done much with the place lately, but that's okay, Kenny. I ain't judging. You do you do things at your own pace. I'm gonna go over here and do things at my own pace, too, because I got some katana swiping action to be dishing out to these schmucks known as... I was about to call them fast raiders. Fast biters! Close to nothing. Oi vey, here come the big boys. And this is where you could go ahead and use the shotgun a little bit. But yeah, I guess this is like a good showcase for you guys as well. That even if you don't have unsilenced weapons, sure, they make a little bit of noise. And I mean, you should still be able to do this with melee either way. And like, sure, weapons do make a little bit of noise. But even then, like silencing them only saves you a couple of noise per raid. Now, I'm not saying that like it's not a big deal. Like, obviously you should try to minimize noise at all costs possible but in case you are you know a wee bit with that goldfish memory side of things aka me whoop, slice that head right on off uh it's not too punishing you know i mean it's not good to know that that happened but it's also not like oh it's the end of the world it's like oh it's a minor convenience of the world and let's go and see what this chest has within we're right about halfway through the noise that we've been allotted Nothing too amazing in there. So I think that heat sensor and uh, these things appear to be the cream of the crop so far. Worst case, I will i don't mind stealing a ton of connecting rods. I do mind putting away all of these things for show for show. I might leave the four with me. We'll definitely put the heat sensor away. Raiders love the heat sensor. They think that thing is like the greatest ever. And well, we've broken through all of these chests. These have been kind of on the mess side, but we still have quite a few more to go. So without further ado, let's continue going and seeing what they got in store. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. This is where the good stuff starts to kick in just a little bit. We were just kind of getting unlucky with the chests we chose to break first and foremost. And uh, well, it appears, never mind, our luck hasn't turned around by too much, but it turned around a little bit. So that's worth something, but yeah, this guy kind of knew what he was doing with his base. He does have the steel protection, which is obviously going to be helping him out a good amount. We got, we got that second set of SWAT armor too to help ourselves out for now. Let's just try and help out these fast biters and their uh, death. Okay, okay, okay. Let's back it up from the abominations too. Whoop! There we go. Just take out the last guy and here we got the abomination train that we got to deal with. Luckily, it's not too hard. You just got to get a little bit of separation. Don't even need to use the sprint skill because they're slow pokes. We can capitalize on their slow pokiness rather nicely. And once we get them down below that threshold, boop, one fell swipe later and see you later, my alligators. And I'm just trying to use the rest of our shotgun here. Boop. Oh, come on. I'm like one hit away here. Rest of our shotgun. Boop. And now that that thing's broken, it's time for us to simply get to swiping. Left to right, whatever direction you want to swipe. Long story short, these abominations are getting swiped on, but this ain't no Tinder swipe. Oh, no, baby. This is a katana swipe. And the katana swipe is proven to be rather nice. We could put that over there to free up another slot. I'm thinking we go and put away, I think, uh, blah, 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 blah. Might as well put this away, right? I think, I don't know. It's my OCD. Like, I know that we could put away, like, just like that. So I think the Raiders might value for... Uh, okay, we'll do it like this. I think that's fair. Because the Raiders might value... Uh, I think they value first aid kits more than SWAT. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. So I'm rolling with it. Better to think than to not think, after all. And with that one being... Oh, baby. Hello. This man has the mother load of chopper patterns. So if you guys get this base in today's day and age, long story short, you're going to be able to learn like every single chopper pattern out there. Well, okay, not the best ones. We're still missing like a couple of pretty good ones. But I mean, for the most part, we got some really good ones from that. And by the way that this raid shaping up, the last chest that we break should be the one that summons the big one. And that one was empty as can be. And then we could just go and dip ski on out of here. But we did get into the best room possible. And that room has been treating us uh, rather all right. I'm not going to lie. I'm not stealing actually. Eh, eh, Christmas patterns might be worth stealing here. Let me let me grab those. Those are a little bit more on the limited edition side. Even if I already have them, listen, I'm a collector after all, because uh, I like hoarding things, if you guys haven't noticed. So hoarding up some of these that you can only get during Christmas time. I'm not sure how you get them this time around, too. I don't think they've revealed that info yet. Maybe like it's a certain day of the event or something, we'll be able to do something. But regardless of that, we're just making sure to uh, fill up our inventory here. Grab a couple of things and all right. 
This is where the moment of truth comes in. And actually, I'm going to grab a connecting rod instead of wires. We have so many wires. Same with that. Same with that. And uh, yeah, here's what I'm thinking we're going to do. I'm going to move those around a little bit. I'm ready to swap out our hatchet, which we're going to use to break into this next one. I'm going to eat the rest of my god dang carrot stew. And that leaves us up a couple of slots that hopefully will give us some good stuff. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's definitely not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. And uh, the last chest. Will you be any good, my good sir? Or are you going to be kind of lackluster? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, it's lackluster as it gets. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Don't mind me. I'm dipping out, out of there. Thank you, Kenny, for letting me get your raid. Thank you, Kenny. No, I didn't, I didn't kill Kenny. I just killed his base and took some very nice stuff out of it. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start bringing that to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. And in this episode, we back at it, baby. We should be getting a lot of revenge raids moving forward. We just got to make sure to continue protecting our base. We'll probably hit up the slopes over there in the snowmobile and um, I'm thinking tomorrow. Today, just a little bit of a break. Hopefully, give them a chance to train. Let the other racers get better because we've been roasting them, man. Like a freaking pot roast. They haven't stood a chance against us. But uh, hopefully, we'll get some of those revenge raids lined up and have some very nice stuff coming your way soon. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper, guys. Thank you for joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses of the game has to throw at you. And getting past the multiplayer wall. Had the most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fabric fantastic time all throughout the way. Gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out, whether that be in Last Day on Earth or IRL. All of the above, baby. And can't wait to hear what y'all guys say in that comment section, by the way. And best of luck in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store a gift card giveaway. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope huh. so it's an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.